How's it going everyone? College Lefty and in this video I'm going to be predicting the set 46 headliner card that will be featured in packs tomorrow at around 12 p.m. Pacific time. So let's go ahead and hide the face cam and talk a little bit about some of the clues. So to start with we have this tweet from MLB The Show talking about a set 46 headliner saying that it's a friend of the show with it looks like five letters in the first name and seven letters in the last name. So let's go ahead and talk about who this could possibly be. I mean, my first initial thought uh, was kind of Lucas Giolito, right? He played in the Players League uh, tournament. He did receive a Players League card. But I was looking up his stats and everything on Baseball Reference. He didn't really win any awards other than an All-Star appearance. And I believe he might have been sixth in the Cy Young voting that same year. But uh, this is his 90 overall card. He does fit the description or at least kind of the... Uh, the question marks there but that they've said that that doesn't matter I mean the red stars for the outline of that set 46 pack kind of could hint at the White Sox red within this specific jersey but that's kind of a stretch in terms of a prediction I don't know I think you guys might be correct in saying that it's Jesus Luzardo it could definitely be a future star player I know that those stars you know coming out of the pack have depicted future stars players before we've also had some of those stars you know during Trevor Story's award series card we've had some of those stars uh, with the wrong color um, we had some of those stars with uh, Brandon McKay when we got his future star card and it could definitely be you know maybe Logan Gilbert as well this was an event card I don't know if he would get you know a mid 90s overall player it wouldn't make as much sense because he didn't play in the players league so who knows he still could be a friend of MLB the show or the developers but uh, Jesus Lazardo did play in the players league I found that out kind of after I tweeted out about Lucas Giolito I'm still going to stick with my prediction of Lucas Giolito but it definitely could be uh, Jesus Lazardo and you guys are probably right in that sense but I also thought maybe Jared Kalenic I was tagged in a couple tweets I saw in a reply on the MLB the show Twitter post that Jared Kalenic could be a possibility. I'm waiting for a better version of this card, but he does have two R's in his first name in Jared. So that kind of doesn't fit the question marks. We've also, we also know that sometimes the question marks don't mean anything. Uh, you might be wondering why I'm showing Luis Roberts card on the screen right now. And that's simply to compare the attributes between some of these prospect players and the future stars. So that way, if it is Jesus Luzardo we can kind of determine you know what his attributes are going to look like or kind of what they could potentially look like I don't think he will get a 99 overall but he could definitely get like a 96 and 97 overall but we can kind of do the comparison with this Luis Robert card and we can see that he got a plus 20 boost on his contact and power attributes or right around there as well as a plus 10 on the defensive side and a little bit of speed increased as well. I believe it was a five point increase on that attribute. So uh, in comparison, we'll take a look at Christian Pache as well as uh, Brennan McKay to kind of compare a pitcher or at least what that pitching attributes could look like. I mean, this Christian Pache card was pretty decent in terms of an early game center fielder. We got this card included in the headliner as well for the future star. And that's kind of where I'm, I'm going with this prediction or kind of going with some of these screenshots is that it would make more sense if it was Jesus Lazardo, and you guys were correct in that sense because, uh, I mean, they've released a lot of award series players or future stars, signature cards. I can't really see them releasing an all-star version of Lucas Giolito now, but who knows? I mean, I think it's still, you know, a possibility. It's probably a lower chance. But, you know, in comparison of the prospect players and the future stars, we can see that they're getting a good boost on hitting attributes as well as defense and speed. For this Brendan McKay card, he does have, you know, 89 stamina, 79 hits per nine, 87 K per nine. So when we kind of compare this card to the future star, we know that he's going to get an increase in break, velocity, control, all that stuff, but not as significant as the hits in K per nine along with the stamina. So he did get a plus five to break, a plus five to control. It looks like, uh, it looks like maybe plus ten, or so, maybe a little, maybe plus fifteen to hit to hits in K per nine. I'm just kind of going off of this, but now we'll try and look at Jesus Lazardo 
back to back or what he could potentially look like once again. So just looking at the Brendan McKay card once again, uh, we can kind of see that Jesus Lazardo will have plus 10 stamina, plus 15 hits in K per nine, potentially uh, plus 20 walks per nine, plus five home runs per nine, which doesn't matter. Uh, you know, a few bonus points to control. The velocity is already maxed out. And then, of course, break. He might have outlier. It just depends. He doesn't have that primary pitch as a fastball. So we'll have to see. But now we'll go ahead and get into some packs, I think. All right, here we are. We're in the pack store. This will be where the set 46 headliner pack will be, obviously. But uh, this set 45 is pretty good. John Smoltz, 96 overall. I tried this card out in the event. He's not bad at all. I might actually purchase one of these packs. I'm going to purchase a 20-pack bundle, though, I think. Yeah, it's going to give me better a better chance at a diamond out of this gold player pack than it would be opening up two of these silvers. That's for sure. So let's go ahead and uh, purchase this 20-pack bundle. We have a lot of stubs. I mean, why not? Let's open up some packs. Let's have a little fun. I also have a set two headliner card. Yeah, I might as well open up one of these as well. Just one. First headliner pack of the year. We waited until John Smoltz was almost gone in order to uh, open one of these up. Let's see. 20 packs. Let's go ahead and see if we have some diamonds in these packs. I mean, it would be nice. Last time I did a pack opening, just a few days ago, I opened up a 50-pack bundle. I don't want to spoil it, but I did pull a very good card and actually made stubs. So hopefully that will happen again. We need about 30K. Well, about 40k back after I bought that headliner. Who knows, though? Who knows? I guess the developers know with the packs they gave me. Let's see. We need some blue cards. We need some blue cards. I'll take a 5k. The goal is to just get one diamond. The goal is to just get one diamond and hope for the best. Hopefully it's not, you know, a guy that just went diamond. But we got to start with just that blue that blue color first all right halfway just about halfway no not even all right man no golds yet even no golds okay there it is i'm hoping for a double diamond can we get a double diamond pack i have not gotten one of those this year that's for sure a double diamond pack come on man nope nope i probably just wasted 40,000 stubs I could have maybe saved those up for the future star or I guess the headliner card that we're getting who knows though who knows let me know what you guys think the uh, the headliner card is gonna be I just wasted these stubs but it's all good it's for the packs it's for the video I'm hoping those cards just randomly change Come on, man. Four left. No diamonds in this in this 20-pack bundle. I don't think. I don't think. Hopefully, I'm wrong. I might be wrong with the last few predictions for these headliner cards, and that's all right as well. It's okay to be wrong, especially when you're just taking a guess. One left. Nothing. One gold card. Right? One gold card out of the 20 packs. Wow. All right, here's another one. I have pulled a diamond out of this. Not this time, though. Not this time. We get a Chad Green. All right, all right. We have a chance at Jimmy Rollins here. Set two, Jimmy Rollins. Can we make something happen? Nope. We cannot make this happen with the silver Chris Bassett. All right, here we go. A chance at John Smoltz. The first headliner card or pack of the year that I've actually purchased from the pack store. Let's see. We got a 1 out of 10 chance at an 85 diamond. 1 out of 3 for a gold. I don't think I've ever seen anybody pull golds out of these headliners. Maybe I have once. Well, I can't say that anymore. Now I have done it twice. Still not a diamond, but that's not bad. I mean, I'll, I'll take a gold card there. Giovanni Gallegos pulled him in the last pack opening as well. I mean, the team is looking all right. That was not a good pack opening, but we will have some new packs tomorrow. I might open up a headliner for Jesus Luzardo, or I'm, going, I'm still sticking with my prediction in Lucas Giolito, even though that's probably incorrect. 
Uh, let's look at the squad real quick. We do have, you know, a pretty good all-around team. I want to try out a couple of these players in these respective positions. I tried Hornsby at third. I, I think I want to use Brett a little bit more. Uh, I was using Cano at second when I did that. The pitchers, though, I sold Bumgarner. I just wanted to try him out for the debut video. I'll pick him back up, though. I have James Paxson. I still have never used this card. And then the bullpen is looking pretty good. Took out Raleigh Fingers. But that's where we're sitting at. I mean, you guys can, can definitely see those pitchers. Yeah, you can. Okay. All right, that's going to do it for this video. Thank you all for watching. Once again, let me know who your predictions are for that set 46 headliner. And that will be out tomorrow at around 12 p.m. Pacific time.